Now we will discuss about the progressive resistant exercise. Uh, and we know that uh, we develop the skill uh, for whichever movement or whichever exercise we are doing daily. Uh, so uh, there is a need to increase the resistance uh, which we give to a particular movement when we are training that muscle. So we know that increase in the strength is directly proportional to the applied resistance. So how much amount of the increase in the strength you are getting that is directly dependent on how much amount of the resistance you are giving. So progressively you have to increase the amount of resistance if you want to increase the strength. So the method by which we increase the resistance progressively is called as progressive resistance exercise. Uh, here first we need to know the terminology what is RM that is repetition maximum. So one RM is defined as maximum amount of the weight which the uh, person can lift uh, in the full range of motion for maximum one time or one repetition. Okay. So suppose uh, for the example of my biceps, I can uh, lift the weight of 10 kg uh, in the full range of motion one time, but I can lift it for two, three, then it is not my one RM. I increase my weight to uh, 12 kg. I can lift it once. I can lift it twice, it's not my 1 RM. But if I take the weight of 15 kg and I can uh, perfectly do one repetition, but the second repetition I am not able to do. So it is the maximum amount of the weight which can be lifted in the full range of motion for maximum one time. It is going to be different for each and every patient and for each and every muscle. So that amount is called as one repetition maximum. So uh, likewise, uh, 6 RM is maximum amount of the weight can be lifted for full range of motion for maximum of 6 times or 6 repetitions. 10 RM is maximum amount of the weight can be lifted in full range of motion for maximum of 10 repetitions. Okay? So suppose for my uh, bicep muscle as I took the example 15 kg is my 1 RM but 10 kg can be my 6 RM means the 10 kg weight I can lift in the full range uh, for 6 repetition and the 7th repetition I cannot perform with 10 kg. So 10 kg is my 6 RM and suppose uh, um, I go even lower I want to find out my uh, 10 RM and I can perform with the 8 kg 10 repetition but the 11th one I cannot perform so it is 8 kg is my 10 RM. So likewise we can find out 1 RM, 6 RM and 10 RM. Uh, now there are different techniques by which this progressive resistance exercise can be given. In that view, we have mainly 3 techniques. One is the DeLong and Watkins technique. Second is the Oxford technique. DeLong and Watkins. We have second is the Oxford and third is the McBins technique. Now first coming to the DeLong and Watkins. Uh, Here, what you are supposed to do, you are going to ask a patient to do 10 lifts with half of the 10 RM. So, first you are going to find out the 10 RM uh, with the half of that 10 RM. Uh, you are going to ask the patient to do 10 lifts. Then the next 10 lifts should be with the 75% of the 10 RM, that is 3 fourths of the 10 RM. And the next 10 lifts with the 10 RM complete, 100% of the 10 RM. Like this, you have 3 sets of 10 lifts, making it 30 lifts. So, 30 times you have uh, uh, did the particular movement or 30 lifts, that makes one session. And likewise, you are going to give 4 sessions um, in a week. So, like that, 30 lifts, you have 30 lifts, 1 session, 30 lifts, 2nd, 3rd and 4th session in the whole week. And in the next week, you are going to again reassess the 10 RM uh, for the next week which is going to be a newer 10 RM because with this exercise uh, 4 sessions uh, in a week uh, the muscle has got strengthened and now in the next week well, probably the reassessment of the 10 RM would give us a newer uh, uh, amount which the patient can lift uh, for maximum amount uh, can be lifted for full range of motion for maximum of the 10 repetition. Now to understand this with an example, then you will be uh, really uh, digesting the whole process. Uh, suppose that for the biceps uh, uh, 
Pregnant. We are finding out first the 10 RM. Here in the example, the 10 RM is suppose 20 kgs. Okay? 20 kgs is my 10 RM. Or 20 pounds is my 10 RM. Okay? So 20 pound is my 10 RM. So on the first day I am going to ask the patient to do 10 lifts with half of the 10 That is uh, 10 pound. Then on the next day, and, uh, uh, then in the next set, on the same day, the patient is going to do 10 repetition with 15 pound. That is 3 fourths of 10. And the third uh, uh, set of the lift of 10 lifts is with the 20 pounds. So 10 pound, 15 pound and 20 pound with the 10 repetition, 10 repetition, 10 repetition, making 3 sets of 10 repetition, making total 30 lifts. This is the whole session which has been performed today. Likewise, tomorrow, day after tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, you are performing four sessions in a week for this 30 lifts. And in the next week, again, you are going to find out the uh, reassess the 10 RM. There is a probability that this 10 RM might increase from 20 to 25. At that time, you are going to consider the new 10 RM, that is 25 RM. And you are going to adjust accordingly that half is 12.5 RB, making it 50% of the 10 RM. This is for the first technique. Now coming to the next technique, that is the Oxford one. Here what you are doing, you are gradually, in every next 10 lifts, you are gradually reducing the amount of resistance. See here we are increasing the amount of resistance. First 10 repetition we have done with the 50% of the 10 RM, then 75%, then 100% of the 10 RM. So gradually we are increasing the amount of resistance after each 10 repetition. Here after each 10 repetition we are gradually reducing the amount of resistance. So first 10 lifts is with the 10 RM. Then 10 lifts with the 10 RM minus 1 pound. Then set, the third one is 10 repetition with the 10 RM minus 2 pound. Likewise minus 3 pound, minus 4 pound, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9 and minus 10 pound. So suppose we have took an example here again of the same 20 pounds. That is my uh, first 10 RM. Okay. So 20 pounds is here. So 10 lifts with 20 pound uh, I will do. And then the 10 lifts with 10 RM minus 1 pound. So 10 lifts with 19 pound, 10 lifts with uh, 10 lifts with uh, uh, 18 pound, 10 lifts with 17, 10 with the uh, uh, 16 likewise will reach to 10 lifts with 10 pounds. So you have reduced uh, 10 lifts with 11 pounds. So you have reduced it from 20 to 11 pounds. Uh, and every time you have did a 10 repetition uh, together, uh, 10 repetition and 10 sets, it will make 100 repetition total. That person uh, or the patient have performed that 100 repetition in one session. So that 10 to 10 100 repetition is your one session. Likewise, you are going to uh, ask the patient to do 5 session in a week. Here it was 4 session in a week. Here it's a 5 session, 4 to 5 session in a week. And again, the same way in the next week, you are going to reassess that 10 RM. That uh, here it is 20 LB. There are chances that in the next week, when you are reassessing the 10 RM, it might increase from 20 to whatever amount, or uh, say, suppose 20 LB or 25 LB. Okay? And at that time, again, you are going to do that. Uh, digit as in 10 RM, you will start with 10 lifts with that 25 LB and then you are going to give next 10 lifts with uh, 25 LB minus 1 that is 24 LB and likewise and weekly you are going to progress it. So uh, this is about the Oxford one. Now coming to the Macklin technique that is the third technique. Here what we are doing, here we have uh, increased the resistance, here we have progressively reduced the resistance. Here in all the three uh, four lifts, uh, 10 10 lifts, we have make it constant. So 10 lifts with 10 RM, again 10 lifts with 10 RM, again 10 lifts with 10 RM, again 10 lifts with 10 RM. So total 40 repetition, 4 set of 10 lifts, making it 40 repetition with 10 RM, which we have built. And uh, like this, this is making one session, like this, three sessions in a week, the patient is going to perform and the reassessment of the 10 RM is going to be done on the next week and here if you take the same example 20 LB 
equation is going to look 10 lifts with 10, uh, 10 and that is 20 pound, 10 lifts with again 10 with 20 pound, 10 lifts with 20 pound, 10 lifts with 20 pound. So likewise 40 lifts in one day, next day again the 40 lifts with 20 pound, again next day four uh, sets of uh, 10 10 with 20 pounds and like this three session one uh, another day and another day in a week and in the next week again reassessment of 10 10. So this makes the whole three uh, systems or techniques which we are using in progressive resistance exercise that how we are going to progress for the resistance. So understand this you need to have clear idea about reputation maximum that is what is reputation maximum? One reputation maximum is maximum amount of the weight which can be lifted in full range of motion for maximum of one time only. So that will make your one element. Likewise, you have six elements, the amount, maximum amount of weight which can be lifted in full range of motion for maximum of six times, and for ten elements, maximum amount of the weight which can be lifted in full range of motion for maximum of ten repetitions.